Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Snow Runo, where we're traversing the very tricky terrain this game has to offer as we go about completing all the regional objectives in this game. Today we are back in Lake Quad under the beautiful night sky this region is exhibiting at the night at night time. Wow, I'm just blown away just how beautiful it is during night time in this region. I've said it multiple times over the last couple of episodes, but I just can't get over it. Real quick, if you guys enjoy this sort of content, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. Uh, today, we will be focusing on another regional objective uh, that we want to complete. If you guys remember in the previous episode, we completed the regional objective where we had to visit the abandoned bunkers. Today, we will be focusing on another one, and that is the one to do with both armored vehicles being retrieved. So if we have a quick look at our contracts here under color expedition see the next one we have here is the price of victory however in order to do that one we have a prerequisite and that is to discover Imandra. pretty simple we just have to go to the gateway right here it's highlighted for us and we should be, hopefully be able to go ahead and do this mission however we do have to take care of a couple of things and set ourselves up and that is to get uh, make sure we have a metal detector and um yeah and then we should be good to go now real quick before we do continue on with that <laughs> i do want to revisit one other i suppose yeah mechanic that we tried to have a go at in the previous episode and that is towing uh previous episode if you remember i dragged the tartra out there it didn't go quite to plan the articulated towing platform on the tartra didn't exactly fit the ford f750 we have to recover so instead i brought out the next best thing <laughs> and by best thing i mean a absolute brute of a beast i feel like i call every single truck and vehicle that i've driven so far a beast but i genuinely mean it this time with this one this is the azov 42 dash 20 there she is she roars to life she's just absolute unit it is incredible just how big this is and the special thing about this truck it's got an articulated front cab that is an interesting design that is not something that i've really seen in um, real life let alone in a video game so that's pretty cool um now I could have started this at the Ford F750, but I wanted to show you guys just how much of a beast this Azov uh, in particular is. Uh, not mainly for, <laughs> for its sheer size, but also, also just for its ability to tackle this sort of terrain that we're in right now, this sort of icy terrain that is easily easily be able to crack under the load of any truck um and as you can see i've got all the lights in the world <laughs> attached to this as well so let's put it in auto take the handbrake off and let's move forward shall we and look at that any other truck i would have tried to take down here i guarantee you i would have gotten stuck oh it's just incredible just how it's able to take on this terrain like that that is just cool we are running not necessarily low on fuel but we have eaten through <laughs> half a tank trying to get from the garage over to here okay so morning time we moved the trucks around a little bit i also forgot to mention the tatarans parked over there to the side as well <laughs> that's from a previous episode actually that was from uh, when i was exploring this map off screen all right let's just uh, reverse this a little bit and let's just put our handbrake on let's bring up our function control evacuator so let's have a look at our control so q and e to lower there we go okay and then we can extend out the ramp as well. Okay, so interesting. Cool. I think we might need to extend it a little bit. 
like that. Uh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Looks like that's as far as it will go. So we'll put this lower a little bit more. Oh, it's a little bit tricky here. Okay, so we are winching the F750 up onto the bed. Okay, wow, look at that. Yes, we definitely needed the definitely needed the ramp platform. That is for sure. The articulated platform would not have worked for us. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. That that fit in really nicely. Now, now I will try and deliver it to. I believe this is the camp, right? Yeah. So I will deliver it to the camp, and um, yeah. That's towing for you guys. <laughs> what has happened here? Oh my gosh, what have I done? Oh man. <laughs> oh no 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 Okay, and <laughs> we are a lot closer to the camp than we were earlier. <laughs> Some minor technical difficulties getting here. And would you look at that, there's also a new truck for us to discover. Oh, along with the frame drops. Excellent, there we go. Oh, and a service trailer, excellent. The Tuz 16 Acteon. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, yeah, obviously, <laughs> switched around trucks as well. That uh, Azov Antarctic, um, Antarctic one didn't work out as quite as well as I hoped. <laughs> uh, our original Azov that I've been, uh, the tried and true Azov actually, is, as I think is probably a better way to put it. The uh, 64131. I wish these had more... Um, catchy names to them rather than just numbers <laughs> uh, yeah this one is just tried and true it tackles anything and everything it's a little bit slow definitely heavy <laughs> but it gets the job done all right we have finally arrived and there we go done and the reward is the f750 excellent that's awesome okay let's accept that reward there all right, oh, you guys out of breath? I know I'm out of breath. <laughs> this has been quite, quite the mission to uh, recover this F750. Okay, so back at the garage, getting ready to go ahead and mosey on over to Imandra. Well, we have to go and discover it, that is. So, and I thought we would use um, that Tuz, what is it? The Tuz 16 Act. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let me know down in the comments how to pronounce it if you guys know. And uh, yeah, I thought we might use this actually as the vehicle of our exploration to Imandra. Sounds alright. Very smoky indeed. Let's have a quick look at the interior. Very utilitarian. Look at that. I wonder what those levers are at the back. Maybe though, those are the gear levers. That's interesting. First aid kit, fire extinguisher. Of course, our little walrus bobblehead hanging out as usual. Excellent, let's take off the handbrake. Let's get moving, shall we? I've got the roof rack on. I've got a maintenance frame add-on as well. Uh, got um, engageable all-wheel drive and a diff lock as well. So that's really good. Um, the great thing about this, uh, well, at least this particular truck compared to the other ones... Uh, hang on a sec, let's just make sure we're going the correct way here. Try and cut across like that. Um, yeah, the really cool thing about this truck is that it has the option for an autonomous winch. Which is really cool. I, you know, I haven't seen that in any of the other trucks. Uh, maybe I missed it in the other smaller ones, like the other uh, smaller Tatra. Um, but yeah, I've definitely haven't seen an autonomous winch option in any of the trucks besides scout vehicles so that's pretty cool 
Oh, already we took some engine damage. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we have arrived at the Mandra Gateway. Finally. <laughs> took a little bit of time. All right, let us travel to Mandra. Welcome to Mandra, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I mean, I'm liking this road so far. <laughs> uh, it looks like we got uh, three or so uh, watchtowers to discover. I think we can now actually accept the Price of Victory mission. All right, here we go. Activate. Excellent. Now, I don't think Mandra has... Oh no, we do have the ability to discover a garage, okay. Okay, future me here. <laughs> My future as in uh, three days in the future. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I had to go back to the drawing board uh, with this one. Um, basically after we entered in Mandra, I was looking for the garage and I found it. But for some reason, I did not have access to it. And... Um, for me, it would have been convenient to have a garage, just because it helps, especially if the contracts that you're doing are within the sub-region um, that the garage is located in. So just in case, if you, you know, flip the truck or whatever, you can just um, you can just recover back to the garage, right? And um, don't have to recover. <laughs> I wouldn't have to recover all the way back to Lake Quad, the other sub-region, and then have to drive all the way back. Um, but yeah, so. I was really confused as to why the garage was not activated. Did a bit of googling and I found out that you have to do a couple of prerequisite side contracts, side missions. And which is so bizarre because it nowhere in any of the side missions, like if you have a look at the map here, any of these side missions that I've picked up as we've gone along, none of them actually indicate that the reward for completing them um, is unlocking the garage and I was so so confused but I kept looking online and I found a YouTube video which um, which described it it escapes my mind who it is uh, I'll probably put it up on the screen here um, of the YouTube video that I that I consulted I suppose for lack of better words um, and yeah basically showed how um, in order to unlock it, I have to complete a couple of side contracts, but... And the, f the first one, the first one that you have to complete is the one where you have to uh, repair the substation. See, uh, again, it's... There's no indication on that particular mission that you have to complete it in order to um, unlock the garage. And... Um, even further, when you do complete it, it's actually not that contract that gets you the unlock of the garage but rather completing that side contract immediately unlocks another side contract that's not available when you first enter Mandra. it's one that pops up at the substation uh, that you actually repair uh, and that is to then go and repair the power line so this second contract only pops up after you repair the substation and once you complete that second side contract, that is when you get access to the garage. <laughs> so, hence the, th <laughs> the three days it has taken me. Of course, it, it hasn't taken me three lots of 24 hours. But it has taken me about, you know, the span of three days to actually go through completing these two side quests and actually trying to figure out how to go about doing it and how to unlock the garage um i flipped the truck so many times i had to recover back to lake quad and i had to drive all the way back here but we're here finally garage is unlocked as you guys can see down here garage unlocked excellent a couple of trailers sprawled across the map a really massive fuel trailer that we looked at earlier couple of other smaller ones oops a couple of the smaller a fuel trailers I've tried to place strategically along with a service trailer just over here as well just for any repairs uh, we're currently in uh, the Voron AE 
eight zero. So, and we equipped it with the um, metal detector module that we found, which uh, was over here, if I remember correctly, it was somewhere somewhere up here, uh, in in and around here actually is I think where we found it. Yes, and um, yeah, so we are on our way to go and find these. BA-20 armored cars. Now on the map earlier, I found, well, it showed me one here, but interestingly enough, it doesn't show it anymore, and I think it might be because I, I don't know, there was this a strange little zone here that I, uh, like a little um, zone marked out that I drove into when I was um, doing those side contracts and it said stage clear so I'm not sure what that is whether that's related to these to this uh, main contract that we are trying to focus on and trying to complete today um, but yeah so we will see what happens um, <laughs> again I, I really apologize for uh, you know, the the choppy nature of this episode. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. Ooh, took a little bit of damage right, engine. I'm pretty happy with this uh, Voron so far. We're running the dual wheels in the back with the snow chains. So that is pretty cool. And also check out this paint job. <laughs> As usual, one of my, one of my stickers is uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's sort of spoiling it a little bit. It's covering up that little what seems to be some sort of bird. Uh, but yeah, look at it. Look at all these really, really interesting flames and the interesting colors. I, I like the colors that's going on. Oh my, getting a little bit bogged down here. Really don't know what exactly I'm meant to do. It does say we have to deliver deliver these armored cars to the airport but I don't know what that exactly means do I just winch onto them and that's it whoa check those out look at that that looks pretty cool okay hang on so what now Okay, so let me just let's just use our metal detector see what it's meant to do. Okay, that's really weird. <laughs> I was really confused there because uh, okay, so how are we meant to pick this up? Okay, this is gonna be I may have to consult the Google machine again to find out exactly what we are meant to do hold on a second okay so <laughs> consulted uh, good old Google uh, specifically a video on YouTube and I found out that we need a loading crane uh, not the um, not the loading crane that you can attach along with the other frame add-ons but rather the actual uh, I believe this is called the Antov, like the big uh, loading crane add on, frame add on itself. So that takes up the entire frame. <laughs> uh, basically, we gonna, we're going to use this to, oops, we're going to use this to winch up both of those armored cars and they can go into conveniently this semi trailer I have from that as previous to side contracts I was telling you guys about. <coughs> uh, also, also by the way, this is another Voron, the D53233. <laughs> so many numbers. Um, but yeah, so this one only has one option for the gearbox, which is kind of cool. It's got a special off road gearbox. Um, and I equipped it with the raised suspension, uh, all the beacons and lights that you can find in the world and uh, snow tires it's very bouncy that is for sure so hopefully this crane will be able to help us um, load those two armored cars up and um, deliver them to the airport again this is this has been quite the undertaking to <laughs> get this mission sorted out 
It's been crazy. Oh, by the way, here's a bit of an interior view of this Voron. Whoa. Keep your eyes on the road, Jace. <laughs> uh, Gonna turn right here, that's right. I still haven't explored the entirety or, um, of the map, so still got ways to go before we discover the entire map. But again, we are trying to focus on the core objectives of each region. Okay, so we are going to be picking up the armored car. Well, the second one that I found, actually. The first one was in that little... Uh, little gorge i suppose i don't know what you would call that <laughs> that little sort of um uh, little valley tiny valley area uh, i also was looking on the map and i saw this was up here as well so i drove our other voron the one with the uh, metal detector module on it and um quote unquote discovered this one as well because <laughs> i believe you have to uh run it through the metal detector in order to um to detect it, uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, okay, so let's just have a look here. Um, I feel like I want to actually position myself the other way. Let's see how we go. Let, let's just see how we go. Okay. Um, crane mode, that's right. Uh, five for the anchors. Okay, so should be fairly close okay so that's really weird it didn't let me winch the other one up there maybe we have to get this one first and then that one i don't know <laughs> it's a little bit confusing but we've got this one winched let's reel her in shall we let's actually lift up our arm here Lift the crane, there we go, let's bring her in a little bit as well, and lower her as well. There we go. It's a bit of a weird camera angle. There we go. I think that's as far as we can go. So I want to make sure that we don't put too much weight uh, up high because that could tip us over so okay let's escape go oh, actually whoops and then activate anchor there we go awesome all right let's power on our lights as well now this is going to be tricky having to reverse out of here is going to be going to be interesting definitely stressful oh gosh Yeah, definitely bashing this armored car around <laughs> but hey it's armored right so it's armored um it should be able to withstand this little bit of of a trip that we're gonna take to go and drop this off at that trailer oh gosh who I do like this Voron's uh, versatility so far. Uh, the fuel tank is not bad. It's not the greatest. Um, but it's been able to take on this challenge in snowy terrain. It does get bogged down in the exact same places all the other trucks have been getting bogged down in. Um, these ones with uh, very dense dense snow in them I don't think this <laughs> I don't think this armor car is helping us Ooh, oh I don't know if this is a good way to go oh boy oh and the frame drops oh gosh no this isn't the way to go I think we're I'm following the tracks from uh, when I was scouting this area Back, take it back so yeah maybe there is an order to which armored car has to be picked up first 
Maybe I just wasn't grabbing the winch point correctly on that one. It was weird. Oh boy, there we go. Uh, moments like that definitely stress me out because I thought, I thought for sure this truck was about to get wedged behind that tree. A tiny tree was going to be our undoing. Be careful, gotta be careful not to tip it over. There we go. Whew. This has been quite the effort that it had to go to uh, recover these armored vehicles. Okay, here we are. All right, I'm just gonna pump the brakes a little bit here. Um, crane mode, excellent. Let's activate our anchor. Let's lift this up. I'll try and get that in a nice, nice sort of place. And we'll gently lower it. Ooh, bit of a jittery camera angle there. There we go, done. One down, all right. Let's restore the crane. One more to go. Almost done with this mission. What's great about this particular location? Fuel tanker right there. So that's going to make it really easy for us to refuel. Oops, not put it going into reverse. Um, especially because this Voron and the Voron that is up there with the other armored car, the one with the metal detector module, the fuel tanks are below 300 liters, so their fuel capacity, that is, uh, is below 300 liters. So it isn't the greatest, um, especially with, <laughs> with this massive crane add-on, you're burning 20 liters a minute, as you just saw that saw there for a second. So, oh, and it has moments like that where it bogs down. I do forget to hit shift. To make sure that it uh, stays in a gear, uh, the best possible gear, to maintain that momentum. So now with this one, what we will do, we'll try that again in terms of positioning ourselves to. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Almost tipped her over. Just attach a winch to give us a bit of stability. All right. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna position myself a little bit better here. Sort of moving this car around as well. My mistake. It's alright, it's armored. It can it can deal with some bumps and scrapes. There we go, okay. I think that's good. This is a very, very bad angle, but hopefully our anchors will do the job. <laughs> Look at that off skew length for the an for the anchor. So oh gosh, oh there it is. It's it's there it is. Okay, maybe it was there the whole time and it just wasn't popping up properly for me. I just have to find the right um, find the right angle. There we go. We'll bring her in. Ooh. So a little bit of a sketchy, sketchy angle. That's all right. Got to lower her as well. All right. So I think we will leave it like that. Bring in our anchor and get a mosey on, shall we? Okay, I think our anchor hasn't, yeah, has it been retracted the whole way? Yeah, I think so. I don't think so. Let's just do that again. There we go. And then bring it all in again. Yeah, there we go. Much better. 
Might just uh, stick to low here. There we go. Verse. Whew. Take it nice and slow. Put it into low minus. Sort of uh, maintain our speed at a steady pace. Uh, because again, I am playing on keyboard. <laughs> so I can't really maintain the, the speed. Uh, with the assistance of a set of pedals, even though I believe even with a um, set of pedals, it's more or less an on-off switch. I don't think there is actual um, linear acceleration in the form of uh, being able to use a pedal set and a steering wheel. Because um, I because I have tried it once, I think, with my with the steering wheel that I have. Okay, we're on a little bit more level ground. Let's put her in low plus. I know I'm gonna jinx it by saying this, but I am surprised whether <laughs> we haven't flipped this over yet, trying to retrieve these two armored cars. Oh, and just as I'm about to say it, it's gonna happen now. Oh, gosh. Yeah, there. Oh, there we go. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, Jace, you idiot! Do not, do not jinx it. Oh my goodness! All right, we made it. Wow, handbrake on. <laughs> uh, activate anchor, crane mode. Here we go. And nice and slowly lower the lower down. Ooh, let's uh, take it a little bit further. Is that as far as we can go? I think. There we go. All right. <laughs> Cool, let's detach that. Let's bring in our crane. Restore crane, excellent. All right, let's just park the crane off to the side. And then we'll go bring our other Tager back down. I hope, I hope I equipped it with a low saddle if I remember correctly. All right, let's just park it right here. Turn her off. Let's jump into the other one. Yes, okay. <laughs> we have a low saddle. That's good. Oh, that would have been such a such an annoying thing to happen if I didn't have a um, a low saddle this entire time. Because <laughs> initially, initially, I uh, I wanted to try and replicate what I saw on that YouTube video um, about how to do this mission. But, uh, what I realized was there is no trailer store at the garage here in Amandra. You actually have to drive further down. Um, it's not, it's actually a little bit further away than, um, uh, to the point where it's, <laughs> it's quite inconvenient. So I, I decided I, oh, let me jump in the Azov, um, and just as I was leaving, I realized, oh, hang on, this Voron that we brought up here with the metal detector, that has a saddle low, a low saddle that I equipped it with. So hopefully that should be okay to just use with the sideboard uh, semi-trail we got here. Please let this work. Because <laughs> I didn't watch that YouTube video entirely the whole way. Because, I, again, I don't want to be given the solution in its entirety. I just need some, you know, I need a bit of uh, hotter or colder advice. That's really all I need. No, I think we are too far away. Okay, what about now? I think we're okay. Yes, we are, and... Pack cargo, there we go. That is so awesome. I'm so happy to see that. I hope you guys are happy to see that. That is excellent. We can now go and deliver this to the airport and 
just before we go, let's get ourselves a nice refuel, shall we? There we go. Excellent. 250 liters all filled up and should be a straight run to the airport. Bit of, bit of a drive away, but hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Getting pretty close now to the airport. Ooh. We've got to make sure we maintain our speed coming down here. It's very, very icy. I remember when I was um, actually exploring this area. Oh. <laughs> Gotta love those frame drops. Um, I remember when I was exploring up here with the Tataran. It was just drifting the entire way. It struggled so much coming up this road just because of how icy it is. And um, it really exposed the big weakness of the Tataran, and that is the fact that it has no other wheel options besides its mud tires. So, uh, like, for example, there's no snow tire with the chains um, available to equip onto the Tataran, which should make it that much more of a beast in this sort of um, this sort of region. Oh, we're getting bogged down. Ooh. Now there is one bit that I am genuinely terrified about. Not just concerned, but terrified. And that is this section here. Which actually, you know what? Let's just already take ourselves off the beaten path here. Um, this section up here where the bridge is out, it's where there is that little path to get across. And I remember actually... I was coming with the that Tuz 16, the Acteon. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> um, but I remember bringing that, and at that point, I'd already, you know, explored a little bit of a mandra, and I got got it stuck right at the very end. Right as I was about to cross over to this side, it flipped over, <laughs> and it didn't fall into the water. It just flipped over, you know. So, ooh, don't want to get stuck out here in no man's land. So this is this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to see how we're going to have to do this because it was tricky just driving one truck. Now we're driving a truck and a semi trailer across. So we'll just put her in low just so we can maintain some speed here. Looks like we came in at an okay angle. Just come to a stop there. Yep. Yep. We seem to be okay. Go as far out as possible. Cut in. Just so there's enough angle for the trailer to make it as well. Oh, stop. There we go. I might just back this up a bit. Because I feel like we're going to roll off if we go any further forward. There we go. Ooh, that, that was... That was a moment. There we go. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Hey, we made it. Oh my goodness. That is a weight off my shoulder. <laughs> shoulders, rather. I have two shoulders. <laughs> and we have arrived at the airport. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, the sigh of relief. <laughs> Look at that, we are about to drop this off. And there's the good old autosave, right on cue. Gosh, it's so aggressive. <laughs> Alright, let's drop these armored cars off and let's finish off this mission. There we go, cargo management, handbrake on. One armored car. Two armored car. Done! That is it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have completed that contract. And we've completed our original objective. Let's have a quick look. There we go. We've ticked it off. Number three, both armored vehicles retrieved. Hopefully next episode. Let's quickly have a look back on our contracts here. So, yeah. So, the star in the sky. So, that is our next one we will have to do. So, that'll be in the next episode. Hopefully, we can get that one sorted out and round out this region but as for this episode, that is pretty much where I will leave it at. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you're enjoying this series, be sure to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing. But other than that, take care of yourselves 
and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.